Hello, hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm in a Lumens Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Today, I have quite a few things to talk about to you as we come up to a new moon and then uh, pretty soon here, the solstice. So this energy is very intense for a lot of people. We've got several planetary events, meaning there's two volcanoes erupting and it can make you feel like things are ready to blow. But interestingly, you're not intended to have a nervous breakdown with this. You've actually very gently been waving forward in cycles, cycles of energy and getting nudges and pushes to help you be at this point. Although being at this point is still learning how to get along, getting along. Now, this is not just getting along with your twin flame. This is getting along with all the other brothers and sisters here. So in many ways, where we are at right now, in some ways it's been a little bit like, you know, living in a very, very small environment, which it is by comparison to the cosmos. However, as what happens in small situations, people get a little bit rough with each other. They get uh, violent. They get on each other's nerves. That's still going to happen. However, energetically and through your body, you will be finding that you can begin getting along. So what's on the other side of some of this stuff that happens out there? All the stuff with the masculine blows up. And there's regret, there's remorse, there's I'm saying sorry, there's feelings, there's genuine sentiment about this. And yet, you may not be hearing this from an individual person. You may be hearing it recorded out there, reported out there. You may hear it from the voice that you're picking up right near you, right into your astral body, okay? But you're saying, where is it? Where is it, okay? And the actual getting along happens through things becoming harmonious. Now, a lot of people have tried to be harmonious, live in true harmony. This has been something that's been somewhat of a platitude for lifetimes. The utopias that were formed the societies that were formed, even the things that became cultish because it just was not sustainable. And now comes a time where it actually not only is sustainable, but it's incumbent upon you to learn on how does this work with your body. That is something I have quite a bit of information on that I have compiled into classes and webinars and lessons for you. This also, this energy is going to encompass the dark side, getting along and the dark side, the dark side of vows and the dark side of selfless service. This will include past cosmic lives and it will include annihilation. This does include knowing the worst and some of you have been very upset by seeing the worst of your twin. Sometimes you look and you say, oh my goodness, this is a mess. I don't even know where to begin the cleanup, and I don't want to. This isn't what I ordered. It's not even in a package I like. I don't want it. And for other people, they're very pleased with what they're getting. However, you may find that you have other challenges to reunifying yourself. So when we talk about uh, union and sacred union and physical union. This actually really does mean reunification of your subtle body, some of which are very new and have not been accessible for lifetimes, millions of years. It's knowing the worst and also the put upon hurt. Now this is going to include a lot of things having to do with the heart, heart, blood pressure, chest, chest pains, and the infrastructure that's here, all of the parts that are connected to you, what's been connected to your past, your past cosmic lives, um, different things that have affected your emotions, such as hair mentality. Both males and females have had 
harem mentalities, mentalities of revenge. We're going to get back. And sometimes this happens in very subtle ways. The feminine side is famous for some of these subtle underhanded things, just as much as the masculine is famous for subtle or not so subtle underhanded things, backstabbing things. But that all comes out so that people can get along. This is where people plot revenge against the child that was foisted upon them. This is where people very slowly and meticulously lie in wait for opportunities to be able to trip people up. And so treating other people as prey is no longer valid. Being treated as prey is no longer valid. And I don't mean just being preyed upon sexually. I mean being preyed upon in other ways as well. Selfless service. This is one of the dark sides of it. Do people take advantage of you? Have they taken advantage of your vows, your vows of marital fidelity, for example? Have they taken advantage of that where it's one-sided or there's a double standard there? It's okay for them to do things. It's not okay for you to do things or upon pain of physical violence. And that's another thing that is going to go by the wayside. Why? Because... In 2012, karma could begin ending. And in 2016, we're closing the door from things that started to come to light in 2016. Did you start having an awakening then? Did you meet someone significant? Did things in your life begin breaking down at that point? And by now, maybe you're stronger. You're through a lot of the worst of it. I'm going to share some things that happened um, along the way for that. And I want to uh, read something to you. And this was uh, something that someone said to me that I found very interesting and very revealing about some of this energy, some of the past cosmic lives. And this is a quote from someone. Sometimes I feel like an alien on this planet. Not that I don't understand things or don't fit. But I'm just so fascinated about humans and the story of humans and history. I'm fascinated on how a human can kill another human or how humans can go to war with each other. I'm so fascinated on things like World War II and Hitler because he's the closest the world has ever come to a real life supervillain, being Thanos in parentheses. That's a character from the Avengers Infinity War. I also am fascinated on how many different humans there are. How can one species decide that they're going to kill each other when they're the same species? How does this even happen to begin with? And the very first line, sometimes I feel like an alien on this planet. And that is because of past cosmic lives lives of being annihilated, lives of trouble, lives of conflict, lives of violence, physical harm, wounds. And the things that now need to open as a result, because we're no longer getting revenge, the channels that now need to open should be addressed. Causal, for your causal body, you have two causal bodies. You have the universal and you have the planetary. The universal is for things that are universal to all of us. Creating comforts, creating material comfort, creating the things that you want in your physical life. Planetary causal tends to pertain to things having to do with your livelihood, your job, your career, your calling, your mission. The very first and foremost mission is reunifying yourselves. And that's why I say focus on union, because union is reunifying yourselves. How do you do that? It's done through merging. How do you go through these things? Well, what I can tell you is, if you haven't merged, that is a part of what I teach. I just gave a class on some of this on how to elevate yourself. 
Uh, that class is going to be available on my website because the live part of it is done. It's now recorded. You also have the opportunity for quantum time. Now, quantum time lets you leap forward on things. This is something that scientists are always trying to figure out. And there's been many, many books written on the subject. Well, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you are the masters. You can only achieve quantum time by getting yourself out of these physical human bodies. So how do you do this? Come and find out because I have a webinar that is called Universally Free to Fly, where the subjects are several things. They have to do with your universal causal body, the higher 5D and above, because you do have connections above the fifth dimension. Emotional body release. This is something that's very troubling for the heart. And in terms of breakups, divorces, this is the thing that stumps people. It's sometimes not the abusive people that are hard to break away from. It's the sweeties. It's the sweet people that are very difficult to break away from. Um, it has to do with release from the Hara Chakra and karmic release. It has to do with breakups and your outer cosmic chakras. Okay, so just because you may have had some bad cosmic lives doesn't mean that you don't have connections to new places. You do. And it's important to get yourself unified and get those channels open and addressed. When you do not open your channels, this is what accounts for things like bipolar, depression, fibromyalgia, amongst other things. Find out how to get your channels open. This is what I teach in my classes and in my live class. There are things that only you can do that your guides and angels cannot do for you. They're not supposed to infringe upon your space. It's supposed to be where some things are actually best done by you and your twin. Even if you say the energy of my twin. Now, what about your upper sexual areas? A lot of people have been sexual already. But where do you have the highest sexual experiences? Where do you have the sacred experiences? In the upper realms. In the upper. And this is something that people also have to learn about the channels. So there is quite a bit I cover in here. In this segment of Universally Free to Fly. Because you will be flying, you'll be flying through the colors, and you are intended to be love making, where you make the third energy in a place that is not in a physical plane. You draw it into a physical plane to further your life. And so there's quite a bit of fighting conflict that is intended to come to a conclusion. There are people that may or may not know exactly why their twin has been separate from them. But I'll tell you right now, separation and being separate is a given. Okay? You're always going to have a time of being separate. And there's good reason for it because that's when some things have to happen for you. That's also when this kind of thing, selfless service becomes love of self, and where you are selfish in the correct ways, in ways that help you. So are you or your twin somebody that always has to have all kinds of distractions? You always have to have busy stuff. You always have to have busy working, trouble compressing and taking down time. Do you struggle sometimes to um, shut things off? Do you find that you're endlessly drawn to loops and loops of information until it starts to not make sense to you? Because what tends to happen is you wind up up here at the mind and you start losing the loving feeling. And it amounts to having empty chatter instead of the things that you do want. So that is also what I teach people on how to get still, how to receive, 
how to uplift, how to move and shift things, how to get yourself into their quantum space so that you can move. So I have something that I want to show you from 2016. It was March of 2016. And we were having one of these days, like we're having today, where the season is about to change and it's just an anomaly. The weather was, uh, here in Chicago, March is very unpredictable. Beware the Ides of March. March is very unpredictable and you can get weather that will go from freezing and snow to very balmy and warm. Well, we were having a very balmy day. It was one of these days where it felt surreal, where you pick, you felt like you were picked up and plunked into summer, and it was like anything can go. People were having spring fever. They were driving like maniacs, and everyone was just pretty much in a good mood. But I went to my grocery store, and lo and behold, there was the Wienermobile there. I hope you can see that. This Wiener Mobile, okay, the one up in the corner there, current Wiener Mobile, okay, and that added to the surreal effect of the day. So, not only did I go inside, I said to myself, this is like something from my childhood. And they gave me a little whistle of the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. Now, sometimes this is only American stuff. Americans kind of get this kind of weird, you know, kitschy kind of stuff, this kind of like weird, nerdy, uh, whimsical, fantastical kind of stuff, okay? But um, that's what really was there. And I said to myself, this is kind of magical. Then I bumped into one of my neighbors who said, would you mind giving me a lift? I'm running short on time. We got in the car and it just felt like we were two teenagers again. It was really odd and dropped her off. And after I did that, I decided to go for my walk. Now, as I was going on my walk, I actually found two cards. I found two cards. I found this one. Oops, let me, oh, let me get that there. This is a photo from 1910 of the old Comiskey Park. That's where the White Sox used to play baseball. Now, for me, this was significant because this was where my grandfather's team was, and we always went to at least one baseball game every summer. He'd get his whole church group together. They would rent a public transit bus and pile everyone in and go down to this stadium. Now, the park comes in where that there it is, homes of home of the White Sox. And they tore this place down. People were upset about it because it was like a piece of history. This photo is um right, it was demolished in 1990, so it has all the stuff on the back here. Then what I also found was on my walk, and I mean I can't make this stuff up. Um, it was a little soggy from water, so you could see water damage is on it. Chicago. And there are two of Chicago's iconic buildings. Okay. This was known as the Sears Tower, and this is the John Hancock Building. The, these were, at one time, the two tallest buildings in the world. And if you ask Chicagoans, they will still claim that's the tallest building of the, in the world. Because the building itself is tall. You had the antennas. And that's what some places do. You know, here in Chicago, we got real buildings. Other places just add an antenna and call it the tallest building. Okay, that's that's the attitude people here have. And even though some other company bought it, it's known in people's hearts and minds as the Sears Tower. Okay, but here is what was on the back side of that card. Sears Tower. And look at that. The Six of Cups. Now, what's Six of Cups? Well, Six of Cups is two things. Six of Cups is happy memories. But if you turn this thing upside down, which is how I found it, that means cutting cords. And that was good news to me because that meant that all cords to the past could start getting cut. Okay? You're cutting cords. Now, 
when you cut cords, when your body is feeling stressed and it feels like, oh, oh, and it just feels like something's going to crack and you're not intended to have a nervous breakdown. And what do you do? Because you see, there's a next step to that. The next step is once things start coming out and releasing, and a lot of you know, you've had spontaneous releases. You don't even know what to call it sometimes because stuff from the cosmos, you can't even pinpoint it sometimes. So you're saying, oh my gosh, you know, I, 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 I don't know, something got released or it feels like something, something, but I don't know what to do about it. And you don't know if it's yours. You don't know if it's your twins. That's the other thing. Is it your twins? Is it something that your twin, and please don't become upset at your twin. Happy memories. Okay. And what a lot of that is, is as this pertain to releasing unhappy childhoods, releasing unhappiness from cosmic lives, the lives you may have had as a child, the lives where things got derailed or annihilated. And we've had some big wars here. And just before I was supposed to um, start this, I heard something on, um, I heard something that actually very impressed me, okay? And it was somewhat poetic, but um, I don't even know who to quote on it, but this is not my own writing, um, to the tune of Take Me Home. Take me home, country roads, to the place I belong, okay? And it says, for when the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild, not just walls or just buildings. Okay, not just walls or not just buildings, but hearts and minds and eventually the relationships with your twin and your brothers and sisters, because we will live in harmony. There will be peace in the land. There will be happiness and joy. And there will be things that are funny and cute and dorky and just nonsensical. And your children will know it. A lot of those children are pretty sharp. And you were that child once. You were that child. You're that person. Some of you are the star seeds where you're able to say this. Sometimes I feel like an alien on this planet. You're not from here. You're from one of these places in the cosmos. We're getting you fixed up so you can be in love. And I mean really in love with those wonderful memories with where you look at something and you go, oh, grandpa, grandpa took me to the baseball game. Not grandpa beat me with a clothesline or Grandpa this, or my dad that, or my mom that. Everyone who's ever loved me has hurt me. Yeah, that happens. But that's not what you're here for. Everyone that you learn to get along with will love you. We all did love each other. So when you come out of a place where there has been a lot of that strife, and you know that people will wax nostalgic and say, well, what about the 40s? What about the 50s? Okay, and if you really look and you start scratching that historical surface, there was a lot of unrest. Okay, even if you look at the 60s, the free love area, look at the other stuff and see what is stirred up, okay? But when things stir up, okay, just like those volcanoes, okay, but then... Sometimes dust settles, and then when the dust settles, you can clear things. And then sometimes you have, you know, things that begin to take another direction. Then you have pe other people that can step in and help. So, a couple other things to add. Um, if you are alone, please don't decry the fact that you are alone. Learn yourself. Get to know yourself. Even if you're tired of yourself. Well, why are you tired of yourself? Okay? This is not a time to make 
busy work. This is a time for learning about self, okay? Learning about the parts of you that now need to open because this is critical because come August, things are going to feel very different for people. The wise people are the ones that are jumping on board with this. You can even say, I think I have, but if you're not getting your channels open, if you're feeling ill, sick, fatigued, if you have headaches, sensations, if you have heartaches for no apparent reason and generally you're very healthy, reach out to me. Have a session with me. Join my class. Um, I have several webinars. I am uh, this one right now in these energies is actually very excellent addressing those subjects. Universally free to fly. This has quite a bit about your cosmic chakras and where they are connected on your body. Because you have more than seven. And if you put you and your twin together, you actually have closer to 21 chakras. I have a live class here in Chicago from 9 till 3. It is at the Four Point Sheraton. Now, also, I have, on the 17th, I've been invited to, um, by Alan and Sandra of Twin Flame Divine Fire, to be on their radio show. And they have a wonderful show. They cover a lot of topics, not all Twin Flame stuff, but very interesting topics. Very interesting things, just like I talk about in my classes. And they have a radio show that's every week. You can call in and ask me a question. There's the number. There's the call-in number, 213-233-3998. That is a West Coast number. So think, think you're calling California when you call that, okay? But it is at 10 a.m. Pacific time, 12 noon Chicago time. And this would put it at, um, I think, 6 in the evening in the UK. It would be uh, something like 1 in the afternoon on the East Coast of the United States. So that's your opportunity. Call in. Ask stuff. Find out. Listen, I'm going to have the links below. And I do sessions. I do readings. Okay, look, I do readings. I do sessions. I do body work, energetic body work. I do get guidance on supplementation and what is happening with people's bodies because I am the living bridge. I'm the metaphysician. And so the things that many times will you'll find yourself stumped on, I will not only get answers, but I have things for you to do. If you've ever had a session with me, you know that I've provided uh, some uh, helpful things for you. If you haven't availed yourself of it, time to dig it out and get it. So the, um, the class is this coming up Saturday. The very next day I'm on the radio with Alan and Sandra. And the links are below. My website is www.twinflamesmerge.com. And I thought this was a wonderful quote here. Um, it just told me so much. And this was not from something in Twin Flame Landia. This was from a completely different realm. Okay, The messages do get out. The messages come through people. People write it down. People are, write books. People are talking on the radio about things. And where we've been, there's been a lot of the duality of good and evil. And there really is only good. Your heart can only hold love. Darkness cannot exist in the same space as your light. Okay, you're the light in the dark. You're actually the light that's leaving the dark and leaving your dark side behind. You get to ditch it here. And that's a good thing. So the next time you're very upset about being here on Earth, think about all the things that have been the dark side that you want to get rid of. Okay? And be glad. Um, because... You're in a place that is maybe feeling to you like you're in between spaces. And yeah, you are. You are. 
you most distinctly are a lot of you are in that in between space no doubt about it okay but you're not in the old space either okay we already closed the door on the karmic living you're winding it down you're pushing it out you're getting pushed out by it also that's normal and if you have questions about that or there's things going on with your body reach out to me my email is twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. So thanks so much for watching. And uh, I hope that this new moon energy that is going to bring the dark underbelly of some stuff out. Look, if you are a female, you're going to find yourself annoyed. You're going to find yourself angry. You're going to find yourself ticked off about things. Don't get upset about people triggering you, okay? Get busy in finding out how to get your channels so that that stuff can get out and that you have some go-to things. Because living that way where you feel like the world is putting, you know, putting upon your heart, that's not how it is supposed to be and that's not what's going to happen going forward. But you're required to be a participant in your own stuff. So that's the thing that people uh, sometimes will, you know, kind of like it's very close and it can be, alarming and uncomfortable but that's what i am here for i am here to help with that and let me know and or join the links are below for these and i hope to see you there thanks so much for watching if you like these updates please subscribe this new moon is going to be a doozy for some people in fact it's already starting three days beforehand and there's a reason for it the cosmic wind is pushing you forward so that's all i can say about that without knowing and talking to you personally to get into more specifics. Thank you so much to everyone who already has had a session with me and joined my classes. We had a pretty lively class uh, this past weekend. Uh, great questions, uh, great camaraderie, and if you do like to hear things that other people might have to say about it, there's a lot of great stuff, great people. I have been very honored to meet each and every one of you. And thank you so much. Um, it makes what I'm doing and what I'm preparing here very rewarding for me. Because the Twin Flame message is not only you're not crazy, but make love, not war. Okay? So with that being said, have a wonderful day. Thank you. And... Goodbye.